Hi, I'm Mercedes, and I'm going to explain to you how the northern blot works. With northern blot, we can detect RNA molecules. It's very similar to the southern blot for DNA and the western blot for proteins. But here, I'm interested in the RNA. I have the sample where I've isolated the RNAs of a plant piece. And I want to find out if the RNA of my gene of interest is in there to find out if my gene is active. So I have to separate the RNA molecules by their size with gel electrophoresis. I've already explained how gel electrophoresis works in a previous video called gel electrophoresis. So that's what I've done here already. And um, the RNA molecules are separated after the size. But in order to detect them, I have to transfer them to a foil. So I'm going to put the gel here and to put the membrane on top of it. And carefully, I'm going to remove the air bubbles. Mm -hmm. Then I place a piece of paper on top and some more paper with a weight on top of it. This box has a liquid with lots of salt in it and it's soaked by the paper through the gel into the foil, taking with it my RNA molecules. So at the end, I have the foil with the RNA on it. This is what I've got here already, but we cannot see anything. So in order to detect the RNA molecules, I'm going to use a special liquid similar to in film development, where I put the membrane in this liquid and it contains a sample that binds specifically to my RNA molecule. This sample is very easy to detect. So that's what I've done here. And as you can see, there are lots of bands and each signal corresponds to my RNA. So we can say that my gene is active. That's a northern blood.